My name is Eric Loberg with the Taylor Planetarium at the Museum of the Rockies. I'm going to discuss why Jupiter has the fastest day of any of the planets. It has the fastest rotational period. Earth rotates in about 24 hours. Jupiter takes only about 10. It's much quicker than any of the other planets. And that's because how all of the planets formed was a similar pattern. They were all rotating in kind of a flat disk. The sun was in the middle. Well, what would become the sun was in the middle. All of this material, it's mostly gas and dust, is slowly rotating around, kind of a flat disk like a frisbee. And it's rotating around on that frisbee and starts to clump together. Most of it clumps together in the middle at the sun. The sun takes most of that material. But the planets, where they're at probably today, started to also grab some of that material and start to spin. And Jupiter is the biggest planet. It grabbed more of that material than any of the other planets. Jupiter has more mass in it than all the other planets combined. So it became a pretty big disk of its own and started spinning together. And as that disk spins, the material starts to clump together in the middle and turn into a kind of a spherical ball. Mostly still gas, but it really starts to clump together and get really thick and hard in the middle of it. Well, why is it spinning fast? It's spinning fast due to angular momentum, and conservation of angular momentum is one of Isaac Newton's laws. As he discovers gravity, figures out some of the rules of gravity, and one of his rules is angular momentum has to be conserved. And we know that angular momentum is mass times velocity times radius. Radius is half of the diameter, and so the diameter is the width of our sphere, of our uh, disk in this case. This disk is spinning, and it's very wide. We're going to conserve the mass here because as Jupiter starts to clump together, it clumps into that ball. And most of the mass is conserved. All that mass still is in that ball. It still has some moons and some other little remnants here, but most of the mass stays the same. But the radius went very, very far down, very quickly. That radius went down into the small clump instead of the spinning disk. Since we know angular momentum had to be conserved, the velocity had to go up. The mass remained about the same. And so now, instead of a slowly spinning wide disk, you have a really quick spinning ball out there in space. And this happened with all of our gas giants. The other gas giants also have quicker days than Earth. Saturn has the second quickest day, and then Uranus and Neptune a little farther out. They're a little smaller, but they're all spinning much quicker than Earth. You can see this in a real world example when you look at figure skaters. Figure skaters like to cross their arms and they'll spin really, really fast. Well, they're doing the same thing as Jupiter is. If they're out wide, they're spinning slower and they want to conserve their momentum. They come in close, they spin, and they spin faster. And that's the same thing that Jupiter's doing. All that matter came in nice and close and it's starting to spin faster. And this is why Jupiter has the shortest day of any of the planets. I'm Eric Loberg with the Taylor Planetarium at the Museum of the Rockies.